Yes guys, another video today, and today it's about Paul Pogba, who else? Always, always, always have a, t a video like this. Um, he scores a cracking goal for Manchester United after a long period of being pretty shit or injured or just not good enough and um, not fulfilling his his potential. And so he scores a magnificent goal um, against West Ham. And now Mina Riola, of course, has come out and said that um, that he can say it's all over between Manchester United and Paul Pogba. He uh, said it to Tuto Sport, which is an Italian outlet. And uh, yeah, Mina, uh, Fabrizio Romano has has leaked it to us, um, obviously because he's Italian and he know he he knows what's going on there. So um, I'm not surprised. I'm fed up. I feel so many different things about Pogba and a lot of the time it's not good. He's a good player. Um, I'm sick of making videos about this. I'm, I'm actually sick of it. Like, why does this have to be a, an ongoing topic? Look at Jesse Lingard. Things aren't going really well for him. Does he come out? Is his agent... He, he went with Mina Riola for a, a very brief period and, and left. Why? Probably because Mina Riola is a dickhead. Um... But, like, just why does it always have to be in and around the time of a good performance from Pogba, which is rare, uh, and, and a, a really, really important game tomorrow. We play RB Leipzig and we have to win or draw, but we're going for the win um, to progress in the Champions League. If we do not do that, we're screwed. Um, I wonder what the team uh, team selection will be like. Will Pogba be playing in it? I do think that Oli, you know, as nice as he seems, I do think he he is angered by the whole Pogba situation, but he'll never come out and say that because he's a respectful person, unlike some when they're unhappy and they want to throw their toys out of the pram. Um, apparently, you know, Pogba, the Manchester United, um, they had in, in the clause in his contract that they could extend it, which they did to 2022. Um, and they just couldn't come to an agreement to prolong it and, and you know, agree on a new contract um, for the future. So that's fine. I, like, I'm done with Pogba. I have been for a long time. Good player. But has he consistently shown that? Has he done much for Manchester United since his return? I would say no. So I would, I'm happy for him to leave. And then you might say, why am I complaining about it? Why am I sick of doing these videos? The reason is because... Why can't he just be, why can't he be in his pug feelings alone? Just stop, stop having your agent talk shit. Um, and if Pogba doesn't like what his agent does, get rid of your agent. But he won't because he wants the money. He wants the moves. Um, COVID-19 hit and Paul Pogba couldn't get his move. Apparently, he, his dream, uh, Marino Riola said, yes, we all know his dream is Real Madrid. Um, and then Juventus is obviously, he's on their wish list. And um, we all know that. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not news to us. But I'm just sick to death of his agent, his entourage, his family coming out and talking about Paul Pogba or Paul Pogba and his Pog feelings. Like, I'm so done. Um, I never really congratulate Pogba or I never really criticise him after a performance anymore because I'm just done with him. I don't want to waste my time saying, oh, Pogba was brilliant today. Oh, my God. Hopefully he stays. No, I, I do not want Paul Pogba at the club anymore because whether he's good or not, whether he does what he does or not, he's too much. He's got too much baggage. He just needs to leave. He needs to go off and be happy in Real Madrid where things are falling to shit over there. Um, like... If Pogba puts in the performances that he does at Manchester United, if he puts in those performances at Real Madrid, the fans will eat him alive. So he should probably go back to Juventus where he's loved um, and, you know, people can shine around him and, you know, he can do well there. But Real Madrid, if he goes there and if he's not putting in performances week after week after week, the fans will just boom like they do to everyone. They booed Ronaldo. They are starting to hate Hazard because he's constantly injured. Um, Courtois, all these players, even Sergio Ramos has been booed. What a legend for that club. Like, why? Why would you want to go there? Um, great club, great history, but the way they treat their players, if you're not going to be... Uh, Eight out of ten performer every every game that then you're you're gonna be screwed and Paul Pogba will be screwed if he does what he does at Manchester United, um, 
I mean, Ariola is just the most awful man in football. I don't care. I really don't care if he, he's good at his job. Yes, he is. He gets loads of money for his players. But at the end of the day, he is the type of player that is not in it. Uh, the manager, he's not in it for the player. He's in it for money. Um, and he just wants the player to be this big star, get loads of money for them, and that's it. Whether it's best for them in their, their you know career, he doesn't care. He just wants money. He's got these big, big players, and I love when players leave him and they see sense because he's just a nightmare. He really is. As you can guess, I, I really hate Mino <laughs> Um So, yeah, like, how many times are we going to have Pogba stories in the media um, uh, before important games? Remember the, the one before the Manchester Derby? He was, uh, Pep Guardiola said, Mino Ariola had offered him to Man City. All this shit, it all comes at a wrong time. He goes out on international duty, he's talked about, or he talks. His agent, let's be fair, he hasn't really come out and said much. Um, I think it's because the whole COVID thing and he's been in, in a bit of a pickle. He's kind of like, oh, we can't do anything now. We can't get that move. We're kind of stuck here. And it worked well in Manchester United's favour. But you can just see... Pogba scores a goal, does well, and then people are like, oh, wow, he's great. And then Mina Real is going to just come in here, smush the pie in your face and be like, oh, yeah, no, it's done. Him and Manchester United are over. Now, you could think this is possibly more of a tactical um, kind of spin that he wants more money for Pogba and they want uh, Manchester United to come in with another contract, which I hope they don't. Do not offer Paul Pogba anything more. Do not. Do not even bother. That's it. Goodbye. He's disrespected the club too many times. He's disrespected the fans. And yes, it's not Paul Pogba who's coming out and saying this. So you could tell me to shut up that he's not disrespecting. But he is. He is. His agent does what he wants. And if Paul Pogba had a problem with it, he would call him out. He would get rid of him. But he doesn't because he wants money. So yeah. Um, think of it what you will. But that's my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Oh, I'm so over this Paul Pogba situation and saga. It needs to end. Let me know in the comments. Are you Paul Pogba in or Paul Pogba out? Um, let me know. <clears throat> no, I already said that. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Drop a like on the video. And drop a like if you hate me and Ariella. Talk to you later.